Philips Hue are still in business, and I, I honestly don't know why. It just works! Well, there is that, if you, you don't count all the times that they've let me down horrendously. But there is one thing that also just works, and that's this Govi LED light strip. It's not only cheaper than Philips Hue, it's also brighter than Philips Hue, and also has the ability to address individual LEDs instead of just lighting the whole strip in one continuous colour. So, why are we still using Philips Hue? It just works! The Govi LED strip doesn't require a bridge, and Hue does. It just works! But this latest Govi strip has Matter support, which means that just like the Philips Hue stuff, it also works with Apple HomeKit 2 as well as all the usual suspects. This is cheaper and better in almost every single way. It just works! Alright, flippin' egg. Whatever. <laughs> Thanks to Govi for sponsoring today's video and for sending me their Govi M1 matter enabled RGBIC strip. And the big news here is that matter actually bloody works. Turn the fourth light off. Okay. <gasps> it worked! Matter works! I don't believe it! And if you don't know what matter is, let me uh let me take you to the future so I can explain. Here in the future, one of the most exciting things about Matter is that it's a universally adopted protocol. So it works with Amazon Alexa, it works with Google Home, it works with Home Assistant, and, get this, it works with Apple HomeKit. It works with Apple HomeKit. Good. Good. Here in the future, when we want to add a smart home device to our smart home assistant, all we do is we boop it with an app. We just boop it. You can open up the Google Home app and go boop. You can open up the Amazon Alexa app and go boop. You can even open up the Home Assistant app and go boop. How do you like that, Home Assistant nerds? Home Assistant! Home Assistant! Home Assistant! I thought you might like that. I certainly did. <gasps> no, really? Really, really, really? Yes! Yes! And I don't blame you. For, well, I don't blame you for wanting to hump the air because this is awesome. Check this out. Yes, 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 yes. That is a matter enabled LED strip working with Home Assistant. I think, I think I just might die of happiness. And we don't even need the manufacturer's app to do this. You can install the Govi app if you want to. You don't have to. You can just open up the Amazon Alexa app and go boop. Simple as that. This will be welcome news to you if you don't like having loads of apps on your phone because you can stick to just one. Your Amazon Alexa app, or your Google Home app, or your Apple HomeKit app. You won't need to have the individual apps to be able to install this thing in the first place if you don't want to. And if you're the tinfoil hat type, the whole privacy thing is no longer a problem either. Because here in the future, there is no need for a third party app. The future. Not, not just a green screen in my bedroom. I went to DeLorean. Matter is also a local protocol. This means that even if your internet connection goes down, you will still be able to access and use your smart home devices because they don't rely upon the cloud to work. How about that? 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 Cash you outside in a minute. I don't know when Govi added this, but I have never been so happy. I can finally throw my Philips Hue LED strip in a bin because the only thing I was using it for was this slow fade up over 20 minutes thing that it did. I use that every morning to wake up because it's way more natural than an alarm clock. And until now, Philips were the only company that did it. Govi now do it too. I set this up last night as a test and this morning, at four minutes before my alarm went off, I was awake. And I felt great, because for once, I didn't jolt awake because my alarm was going off. I slowly woke up because it felt like the sun was coming up. We don't have a sun in the UK, so, so this was a perfect replacement. You can set this to repeat on any of the days of the week. You can set the amount of time it will take to wake you up from anything all the way up to an hour, and set the final brightness level of the strip. 
This works just the same way as the Hue one does, only actually, possibly even better, because it's brighter. Sorry to interrupt. If you could do me a massive favour and subscribe if this is useful to you, that'd be great. It would be helping me out no end, because this is my job, and without you guys, I don't have a job. So please hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this video. Thank you. These strips also come with RGBIC+. And if you're not familiar with this tech yet, it basically means that each LED can be controlled independently by Govee software, which is what makes these rainbow effects possible. Rainbow. Remember that show? Have you seen Bungle's Twanger? Yeah. Oh, I have, yeah. I showed him how to pluck with it, yeah. Yes, here's my plucking instrument. I don't remember that episode. Just like all Govee RGBIC products, this LED strip has a bunch of these effects built in, and you can actually customize the effects to the point of the ridiculous. There is pretty much nothing that you can't do by using their DIY mode, and the DIY modes can then be added to a scene and recalled using your voice through Amazon Alexa and Google Home like this. So show me a rainbow. Sure, getting my twanger out now. Wait, what did she just say? It doesn't matter what size your twanger is. <laughs> I've got a big red one. <laughs> this latest strip, though, has an improved version of RGBIC+, which uses a 4-in-1 chip in each LED, which gives a more natural mix of colour and higher luminosity. And if you look at this thing close up, you can see this is actually mind-blowingly cool and ludicrously bright, which we'll talk more about in a second. The controller on the strip also has a built-in microphone, just in case you're the sort of person that likes to have a disco in their house. And so here is an incredibly professional demonstration of that. Are we all ready? One, two, three, pluck! Pluck, pluck, pluck away, we're going to pluck all day today! Pluck, pluck, pluck away, we're going to pluck all day! <laughs> it's time for us all to go now, but don't forget to get your twangers out and play with your balls. Govee are now claiming to have the brightest strips on the market, and I can well believe it. I've actually tested them against my Philips Hue LED strip using my lumen meter, so science. In my testing, you can see that when I set both strips to cool white, which is Philips' brightest colour, the Govee strip still outperforms the Hue strip by a preposterous margin. And this is because not only is each individual LED brighter, there are more of them per meter. And this isn't just a case of, ooh, there's more of them, that must be better. This actually makes a huge difference if you light something up close, because when there aren't enough LEDs, you can see hotspots. This is the case for reds, greens, blues, oranges, purples, and whites. And this isn't just my opinion, as I said, I used my lux meter to test the light output on each individual colour, so there's no double standard here. Unlike the double standard that exists between me and this lady in the gym, when I try and get my own junk in my mouth in the middle of the gym, all of a sudden, it's a hate crime. <laughs> what? A hate crime? <laughs> try again. So this isn't Govee's fault, it's a Matter thing. Matter doesn't yet have all of the functionality of every product on the whole of the market. So, in order to do some of the more advanced things, like set rainbow effects, or create DIY modes, or create scenes, or timers, that sort of thing, you'll need to use the Govee app. You can create timers and stuff in your Amazon Alexa app, or your Google Home app, or whatever, but the advanced functionality such as rainbow effects, you'll need the Govee app to do that. I don't think this is a Govee problem either. I think this is probably, yet again, a Matter thing. But Matter is supposed to be local. When I take the internet connection away from my router, for some reason, I can no longer control this strip, and I should be able to. This is nothing to do with Govee, because I have actually installed it using Home Assistant directly, and I'm trying to control it using Home Assistant directly. It might be my understanding of Matter, it might just be my network, 
or it might be something that Matter need to resolve going forwards. Matter will definitely eventually work locally, I just need to figure out why it's not in this case, but I thought it was worth mentioning. I personally haven't got it working locally. This is the best strip on the market, and I'm not just saying that. This thing, aside from having the RGBIC Plus technology that allows the rainbow effects, finally has caught up to Philips Hue with the whole sunrise wake up routine thing. On top of that, it's longer than the Philips Hue LED strip, for less money, and brighter than Philips Hue, and even brighter than my Lifex Strip 2. This thing is saturated with colour and it's absolutely well worth its price tag. If you're interested in buying one of these things, then as usual, the links are in the description. Go check out there where you can pick one up. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That will tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people running up your screen are my Patreons, my patrons from Patreon. I'm not starting this again. I have, I have had a terrible time of filming this. They are the best people in the universe and without them, I wouldn't be doing this for a living. If you want to be one of these incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I would genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams and my TikToks too. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. Or open up the Amazon Alexa app and go boop. I can't open or show you apps on this device. Shut up, you cow. <laughs> Shut up. Better than Lifex and cheaper than Lifex too. And it's here to stay. <laughs> it's, just, it's just rubbish. It's just run out of things to say. It needed an and. It needed an and, and I couldn't think of one. <laughs> Try again.